Biggs, excuse me, and then the Roy Moore, Moore Harvey Nichols, Ann Fennerty, and John Lipsky, and then whoever else wants to sign up. Hi, my name is Gail Biggs, and the gentleman back in the corner there said that he would happily uh, give me his three minute time so that I could uh, go to six minutes. Uh, I have uh, prepared a handout for everyone, and uh, I, I, would, I will be following that mostly down through here. I will try to abbreviate where possible. But uh, the health department, about two and a half decades ago, uh, around the 1990 time frame, plus or minus, uh, uh, found, did a study and found that the most dangerous emissions from Rocky Flats were the airborne emissions. And, uh, but yet neither the health department nor EPA have established any standards because they're not easy to establish. Plutonium is a di very difficult uh, a di um, um, metal to uh, monitor. And once it's breathed into the body, and plutonium is a very fine particle, easy to breathe, it stays in your body for the rest of your life. It does not pass on through. It tends to concentrate in the lung, liver, brain, bones, and reproductive system of the person that has breathed it. It has a half-life of 24,110 years. So it's with you until you die, and even after that. Uh, and eventually, um, it will cause cancer and other ailments as well. I have seen estimates done by specialists who say, have estimated that a teaspoon of plutonium evenly spread over Denver could eventually kill every citizen in Denver. That's how potent this is. And uh, plutonium is also one of the most toxic metals known as well. Uh, I, uh, had a, uh, I was appointed to Governor Romer's uh, scientific panel, and I was chairman of the Air Committee. And uh, uh, one of the things that we did was we asked to go up into buildings and look at their exhausts. Well, I stood at the top of uh, uh, building uh, seven, seven, uh, 371, looking at the flames and the exhaust pipes out. And uh, uh, I have a, uh, a picture here of the exhaust flame that uh, shows the exhaust pipe as it's just before it goes out into the air. The uh, pitot tube, I asked the workers, when was the last time that pitot tube was calibrated? Oh, it's never been calibrated since it was installed in 1951. I looked at the uh, uh, plutonium monitors in it, and it turns out as that pitot tube, or as the air flows out of that uh, little smaller pipe for the pitot tube, it hits the up next, uh, as at a 45 degree angle, contrets, uh, forms an eddy flow around it, and the monitors, uh, for the monitoring the plutonium are exactly back. The airflow over them was on the back side instead of the front. And uh, so uh, that was uh, just my, our first indication that there were a lot of problems out there. And in fact, uh, 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 the uh, workers estimated that from 60 to 90 percent of the plutonium that was generated at Rocky Flats was uh, 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 disposed of on the ground. And, uh, in other words, the fugitive sources. Um, the uh, property, the next one is a very interesting document. This was prepared in 1982 by a Rocky Flats employee. And, uh, and they had to replace this film in 1970 because of the excessive maintenance uh, that they had to have on it because they couldn't get the uh, management or anyone to respond to their requests. Um, and uh, just uh, as you can see, the physical condition was rated as poor, and the technology status was rated as inadequate. Uh, the uh, comment says numerous leaks of both a stack, a uh, 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 filter of uh, uh, flumes, and this was the acid uh, that was formed in them, and these uh, flames were so uh, bad that it would leak through them, and the concrete that they were setting on was being uh, degenerated, as were the walls and the ceiling from the acid flow that was in it. And, and as it says at the last sentence of the comment period, and for 31 years, and this would be from 1951 to 1982, uh, the main exhaust flame has been a sewage dump site for the production department. 
they would come up and dump their excess uh, uh, baggage into that flame and blow it out the stack. Then it was heavy and it would settle to the ground. So the, the place was, was uh, just, uh, and the, the next comments, I won't read them, but they're, they're extremely interesting too, talking about the poor maintenance that they were able to do on it. Uh, the next shows the high volume sampler, which is the standard EPA uh, designated monitor. And you can see this is the particle range that the high vol sampler measures. This is the size of the particles coming out of the stack. And this is the fugitive coming off the ground. It's not measuring the plutonium. So those readings are not only inaccurate, they're very misleading to let you know what's on that plan. So, so anyway, uh, uh, EPA then uh, runs a uh, 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 excuse me. Sorry. EPA then collects run surface runoff water from the plant, and I got a hold of the last ten years of readings for this site, and they say, oh, most of the time it's meeting our standard, which is the little line up there. The plutonium is the uh, dark triangle dots. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll, could I just have maybe another few seconds? Another few seconds. Yeah, OK. I, I point out that any time those dots are above the zero line, it means plutonium is coming off the surface of the site. So there is plutonium there. And uh, I, I guess then to wrap things up very quickly, uh, I just want to uh, emphasize what the previous speaker said, if this goes through Rocky Flats, I ask you not to support it. And secondly, we are currently asking the health department to ban uh, uh, people from even going on to the site. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Mr. Moore. <coughs> 